He knew that his people needed him. And quite frankly, I can't think of anything more inspiring than that, than a priest who is willing to lay down his life, literally, to serve his people. He had left Guatemala to go back to the United States in fear of his life. And then through prayer and meeting with the spiritual director, he just realized that God was calling him back there uh, to, to, to shepherd his people. offered his life for you know, the sake of his flock. Just because of his presence, because of his strength, because of his love, I mean, he ultimately sacrificed the greatest thing that we possibly could for, for anybody, which is his life. Blessed Stanley's extraordinary deeds were his daily activities. So whether it was translating uh, the Bible for the Tutu Hio people, or just working on the farm or struggling with Latin is just the next thing in line. Um, and that's inspirational. Living out the Christian life and he did it well in the little things. And I think eventually over time as he did it well in those little things, he came to uh, you know, do it in a big way. He didn't uh, care for himself. He cared for you know his flock, he cared for his sheep. And uh, just that selfless attitude, um, just complete, uh, complete charity is inspiring. The priest is the shepherd. He is the head of his people. He's there to show them where to go, how to act, and eventually how to get to heaven. I desire to be a priest and I think God is calling me to the priesthood uh, to put it simply is, is to save souls for Him um, and to, to help people along in their spiritual journey. That's always something that I've desired to do, is to help people along in their spiritual journey. And I think at this point in my life, the priesthood is the means by which God is calling me to uh, further His kingdom on earth and to serve His church. I want to bring people to God. I want to help people come closer to God every day and to reach their eternal salvation. And in doing so, living the best life that they can here on earth. I want to be a priest to be that bridge for other people, to show them love where there is no love, um, to build them up and to call them to greatness, to be the best possible people they can be. I want Christ to work through me to bring joy to as many people, as, as much joy to as many people as possible. Being whatever the people of God need me to be, um, you know, that's a challenge, but whatever, whatever role that'll take on. Conception provides the space and the time necessary for self-reflection and um, suggestions and critiques from the formation staff and the fellow brothers on how to grow and how to be most like the Lord, which is the person of the priest, is in persona Christi. I really love the monastic atmosphere here. I think that the monks do a great job of balancing a lot of things in their life. The aura et labora of the Benedictines, prayer and work. Um, a lot of that applies, of course, us as seminarians. There's a lot of practical things we do. Um, to, you know, with schoolwork, with leadership responsibilities, but then also that aspect of prayer that has to be the foundation of our life. So seeing how the monks live that has in turn also helped me. Conception has been a ground where that peace can cultivate in my heart and I can, you know, grow in holiness and 
know myself and ultimately know Jesus Christ more. And you know, the more I know him and the more I know myself, uh, the better I can see his will play out in my life and uh, ultimately serve him to the best of my ability. I mean, conception has been the grounds to where that peace can flourish. Conception gives seminarians a beautiful opportunity to remove themselves from the world and really find who they are as a young man and as a Catholic. This place puts everything right out there in front of you. With the spiritual direction meetings and the chaplain's meetings and the formation conferences and daily mass and office and morning prayer, all of these things put together, they make it so it's not on you. I mean, the discernment is still your job, but it puts it there so that you actually do the discernment instead of just running from it.